I'm going to teach you how to create a profile in Opera Cloud. First, we need to know what is Opera Cloud. Opera Cloud is a software that is used in hotels to manage the occupancy, the arrivals in the hotel. Also, you can use it to make reservations. Here we are in the front page of Opera. Here you can see the arrivals for the day, the room status that it's the rooms that have already been inspected, the dirty ones and the clean ones. Now here you have a house that means how occupied the hotel is, the departures that it's the check-in and the check-out, and here you can find how many rooms you have available for the day. Now here you're gonna make we're gonna create the profile. Here in the top we're gonna find client relation relations and we're gonna make click in profiles and after a manage profile. First we need to check if this client is already registered in the hotel or has a profile, so we're gonna write here a name, the last name of our client, that in this case is Castilla. Then we're gonna make click here in the bottom in search. Here we can find that a client with the same last name exists, but we aren't talking about this client. So we are going to create a profile for this new client. Here you can find create a guest profile or if you want to you can click there and I want to in the bottom of the right. And also you can find create a guest profile. Here now I'm going to try type the name that is Omar and then we're going to select here the language here in the icon we're going to make click and we're going to change it to spanish then we're going to make click select after that hit in title if you make click in the search icon you're going to find titles like miss mr mrs and you're gonna select one if it's necessary for your client. In this case, I'm gonna let it in blank. Here, we're gonna pass to the communication where you can find phone, email, or fax. In this part of the right, you're gonna see numbers. This one means the order in which these types of communication are going to be used when you need to contact your client and also you can change the type of communication if you make click in the search icon you're going to find home facts other facts phone number business number we're going to let this one with mobile phone number ready now you're going to write the number and then we're going to write the email. Ready? Now we complete this communication part. We're going to scroll down and here are the address information like is the address, the city, the country, and the state. If you have the specific address, you're going to type it. And if you're not, you're going to choose the city and the country. For country, you exist a code for every country. So if you didn't know that code, you're going to make click here in the search icon. After that, you're going to search for the country and here in this line, 
in the left you can see the code. I'm looking for Mexico, so I'm going to type it. I'm going to click in search. And here, the code is MX. So we're going to make click in this one and then in select. After that, you're going to write the city. That in this case is Baja California. An important point, Juarez has accent, but in this system, you shouldn't, you never use accent or special letters like ñ. You change that for an N. Now, here we find again language. I'm going to make click here in the search icon again. And after that, we're going to change the language to Spanish because we have already selected Spanish. So we click here and then select. Now that all this information is filled, you're going to click here in the bottom of the right, save for file and add more details because we're going to add reference of the client. Ready. Here you can see that the profile has already been created. You can see the address, the communications, the mobile, the email, the sequence of these ones. And now we're going to add preference. Here you're going to find a part that says profile. In this part we're going to look for the part that says preference. Here we're going to make click. After that, we can see that our client doesn't have a preference in this moment, so we're going to add new. Here in this button of new, we're going to make click. And here you can find all the types of preference that a client can have. Has. So, it could be like floor, if they want the first, the second, the third floor, their interest like banquet, conventions, and each one of these ones has a code. So, we're going to select for this moment food and beverage, and with these buttons, we're going to transpose these ones to this window. We're going to click this. And now you can see that it has been transferred to the second window. Now we're going to add some medical preference. That is that it has hearing impairment or morbidity impairment. Oh, we're going to add right now a special preference that it's going to be the client one hypoallergenic pillows we're going to transfer this one and now you can see it's here now if you select something that is wrong and now you want to back that thing to the first window you're going to make click in the third button and that thing it's going to transfer to the to the place where this one was, like it was made. Here you can see now upper here is not here anymore. And that's all. Now we're gonna save for preference. And here you can see that our client has two preference. Now I'm gonna close this window and it's already been actualized. So you can see here that exists preference with a number two. We're gonna make click, and here you can find what we have already registered. And that's all. Now you know how to create a profile with preference.